Look at that. First Drake Mallard on the old lease pond. That's what's up right there, boys. That gets me pumped up. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> what up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today, today, today. It's a special one because it's only going to be like a three man hunt today, and we're going to be going to Bob's lease field where all the duckies are. Hopefully, there's a lot of duckies there, but. Either way, there's three of us going there, and we're going to set a little floater spread on this bad boy with a few mojos, and like you guys have seen in the past, uh, my little lease pond is just that, a really small lease pond in the middle of a field, and I heard there's a bunch of ducks out there. I just got back in town. I am ready to smack them bad boys. But like I said in the last video, I have a big, big announcement for you guys, and what that is, is Ducks Waterfowl has big, big Big Black Friday sales coming your way Thursday through Sunday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big savings coming your way Thursday through Sunday on the DucksWaterfowl.com website. So this is what we're working with. Thursday it's going to be 25% off all hats, oh boy. Friday it's going to be 25% off all lanyards and gunslings, so that's one heck of a deal. Saturday is going to be 25% off all t-shirts on the website. And Sunday will be 25% off all Ducks hoodies on the entire website. And each day is 10% off the entire site. But just like last year, this is our biggest sale of the entire year. And you guys loved it last year, so we were like, you know what? Let's make it bigger and better this year. So we have a bunch of new items on the website. I mean a ton. So you need to go over to DucksWaterfowl.com. I'll link it in the description below. Go check out all the big, yummy, juicy sales over there. But we have had another cold push come through. And it is 25 degrees out right now. It, in the last two days, it's really gotten a lot colder. And we've had a, another push of birds come in. I mean, it's not like a big push of birds. Not really noticeable. But if you get out there and you do your hunting, we, did, we have had some new ducks come in. So your boy is excited. We're going to be hunting with Chase and Preston today. Let's, uh, let's get to it. We got about a, I don't know, 20 minute drive. I got to go in and make my duck blind roast coffee because you know your boy needs that caffeine. But enough chirping, let's go. Oh, so I had to, uh, I just got back in town from a little family vacation. And right before I went on that vacation, I went out to my lease and I had to uh, take the quad out there and break the ice. I mean, the ice was almost an inch thick. I am worried about the ice. I hope that there's not a real, real thick, thick layer on it. The wind don't hit the water on my little spot here. It's surrounded by about six foot tall weeds. So the wind hasn't been uh, very strong at all. It's been calm for the last few days, so I'm hoping that it opened up. Let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope that there isn't too much ice on this bad boy. Oh yeah, and, and, I just wanted to talk about something real quick here while we're on the road. I just checked the old YouTube subscriber count. 55,811. What the heck? I never would have thought so many of you guys would have liked watching my ugly, my ugly old grill and these old goggles. <laughs> but honestly, guys, I, I mean, for a hunting channel and this thing to be already 55,811, what the heck? I want to thank you guys so much, honestly. If you guys have been liking the channel, if you guys have been enjoying the waterfowl hunting videos, everything I've been trying to do, I've been trying to incorporate more Fowl Fridays for you guys. If you guys like all that, drop your boy a big old thumbs up right now. And I want to tell you guys thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the subscribers, all the views, and all of the support that you guys show me every single day. Thank you. Oh, well. We finally got the spread set up. Uh, it was froze over pretty darn good. I bet there was about a half inch of ice on it. Started ripping the quad across it, got it all broken, and uh, me and Preston started throwing out decoys in front of the quad headlights. He was like, bro, your tire is off of the bead. So I busted a tire off the bead. Gonna have to take that in and get it fixed. Probably be able to do it at the shop. Uh, we've already had a small, small group buzz us. I think we're about 10, 15 minutes out from shooting light. I'm gonna strap on the old GoPro up top and uh, we're gonna be shooting today, boys. Oh, and I'll show you the spread here in a little bit once the sun comes up. Well, here we are. Got you on the GoPro up top. And as you can see, we're fighting the ice big time. So I've been having to come out here and kick the ice around again and again and again. 
I already got a thin layer on it. But what we got, here's my open hole here. And uh, did have a lot more open water than what there is now a few minutes ago. That's where we're sitting back yonder behind the panel blind. Birds are coming from that way and they don't like us. Holy smokes. Well, the roost just lifted up. Look at this. Holy smokes. Come on now, get in here. Holy smokes, here they come. On the left, right here below. Right here, right here. Shoot him. Oh, really? really? <laughs> oh, first shot of the day and we whiff that one, goodness. God, how do we miss that? I want to show you guys our little blind action. This is Preston's, uh, Preston's little panel blind here. It sits up good. Check it out. Got the old lounge chairs back here. And look at the old creek cooler. Yeah, it's a little cooler that I brought out here that we can fit all of our shells in and our water and our lights and holds the ducks off the water for us. That thing is sweet. Shout out to uh, Creek Coolers for sending me that bad boy. Don't get used when we're hunting the water like this. Pretty sweet. Man, this shadow. I'm getting blown out by the sun. Oh, here they are, here they are on the left, on the left, boys. Ooh, they're dumping. Oh, yes. Shoot the two? We gotta shoot something. Look at all these birds. Well, we've got two in the decoys. There he goes. Oh yeah, they like it. Two more that like it. Come on. Get ready, boys. Oh, shoot. Smoke him. There we go. Nice oh. shot. Three? Yeah. Drop three, baby. Shot, yeah! Shot the green egg. Yeah, and we shot, I think we might have shot two drakes. I know I smoked one Susie, maybe. Did you smoke a Susie? <laughs> Hell yeah! Woohoo! That well, cool. that right there is the first bird's kill on, killed on the lease pond. Hell yeah! That gets my blood going, boys. We need to go move some ice and hopefully we get another group come in here. Look at that! First Drake Mallard on the old lease pond. That's what's up right there, boys. That gets me pumped up. Woo! Ooh, ho, ho, ho. check that out. We got old Susie and a greenie. Look at that, that green head's really nice. First birds on the lease pond here. This is, uh, that was epic. They did it really good, boys. Didn't you? I mean, they, they yeah, got in here. Right over the left shoulder, just boom. Came right over the left shoulder and just done it. Feet down. The two wanted it really bad. We popped them two and then uh, there was like three or four of them above that. We picked one or two out of that. Three total, so not a bad little group. You got that jerk cord going over there, son? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> get it. So I wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is uh, Preston's running the old jerk rig out here. He's back yonder giving her a yank. And uh, look how look how much the water's staying open around that jerk rig. That's a little tip of the day for you guys, is if you're having trouble keeping water open like this, put you a couple jerk rigs out there. Oh God, ducks. That was bad timing. Bad timing. There we go, pintail. He's still high, there we go. You want to try it and give him one more pass? Come on, come back, come back. Holy, right up top. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, come on, come back, come back. It's like you give them two passes to get down lower and lower and they don't do it. <laughs> Shoot him up top. Come on. Oh. oh. Well, like I said, first pass we're going to be shooting, boys. <laughs> we're not, oh, well. Man, they gave it up hard, and then right when they got above us, they stopped. They just stopped dropping. Maybe even couldn't get it 
done. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. We're shooting BBs, number twos, number fours. Golly! Drop the one. You want to shoot the one? Let's shoot the one. Shoot the one. Nice shot. Any more coming? We could have shot all of them. Dude, we're shooting whatever's in the decoys. They we're not... right behind her though. No. <laughs> well, just had a good, good sized group work and we had like two stragglers come down, try to put their feet down. We laid it, we waited on the bigger group to do it, but seems like when that bigger group gets low enough and, and one duck, it's like this ice, the, we still have too much ice out here. I think that's, I think that's the main problem. We do have a little open hole, but there's so many little chunks of ice everywhere that the ducks are like, they get low enough, it's glistening, it's sparkling, the whole nine yards are like, hey, there's too much ice on that bad boy. We don't like that. So I think that's kind of the kind of the issue right now. But I'm glad we uh, I'm glad we got into some mallards. Hopefully the day's not done. It's about nine o'clock, so we're gonna probably wait it out just a hair longer here. Hopefully we get a late morning shoot here. Up top. <laughs> oh look at this. We got geese floating in here. Oh we got oh yeah, we're gonna shoot at them for sure. Take that low one for sure. Ready? Take him. Take him. <laughs> oh, you dead boy, you going down, you shoot him again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice shooting boy. <laughs> Woo! We got us a bonus gooseroni today, boys. Yeah. Dude, that was awesome. Dude, they just came they just came floating over the front. We're sitting here just talking. <laughs> there was a four pack. I know you guys just seen it on the old GoPro. They came floating over the top. We're all just standing right here outside of the blind, chit chat. I'm like, oh my goodness, get down, get down. Sure enough, Chase smacked the, the low back one. He was the one that, that popped him. Heck of a shot, because they weren't, I mean they were low, but they weren't real low. Oh, I tell you what, feels good to be out here on the old duck lease doing some hunting. Um, this is actually the first hunt that I've actually killed anything out here. So, didn't kill many, but uh, what we did kill, I'm extra proud of. So, we'll look at the pile pick here in just one tick. Real big pile today. Yeah. One heck of a pile. Fun hunt though. Yeah, it was. Well, we're all picked up, got the trucks warming up here, but look, that's all we shot today, boys. Was not a pile em up day by no means. Call us the Susie Killer R Us here. That's that's what we shot the most out of. But like I was saying earlier, look at the old girl. Poor old girl. Got a busted tire. Yeah, the tire's off the bead. Gotta go home and fix that. I was breaking ice with it this morning out there and I was just getting it. I was freaking getting it and all of a sudden, Preston's like, dude, your tire is off the bead, dude. Cool it. So, gotta go take care of that. Well, we are back at home, and I've been working on the quad here. Look at that. Got the old tire fixed up. Oh, yeah. That tire just has a slow leak. It always has. I forgot to air it up before I left this morning, so it was flat. Well, these tires are really strong tires, and even if they're flat, you really can't tell and uh and it ended up coming off the bead but your boy got it fixed the bad thing is i think that i have a lot of water in that tire now but like i said earlier i'm glad that we got out there and we actually shot some green heads we had that bonus uh cackler come in and uh, it was a high shot but old chase nailed him but honestly guys it's not always about how many birds you're gonna shoot today i knew we probably weren't going to shoot a lot because i knew that there was going to be a lot of ice this morning that we we're going to have to deal with sure enough that's how it turned out lots of ice i had to keep walking out there and, and swishing around the old legs and breaking ice and stomping ice and sure enough there was two times that i think that uh just me being out there trying to break ice i had i, I had birds working and i ended up flaring them so one thing is is trying to keep open water is difficult it's hard right now because at night it's getting down last night it got down to like 21 degrees how are you supposed to contend with that but one thing i do need my next big purchase will be an ice eater if i can put an ice eater in my little lease pond i can guarantee you it's going to be absolute gold 
If you guys have any recommendations on a good ice eater, what brand is the best? Drop a comment down below and let me know because your boy's about to go buy one. But like I said earlier, if you guys have been waiting for a big day, a big discount day to save yourself some money to go over to the DucksWaterfowl.com website and purchase something, your chance is coming up. Starting Thursday, we're going to be doing 25% off all hats. Friday will be 25% off all paracord items. That means the old gun straps will be available for 25% off Friday. That means uh, lanyards, all paracord, 25% off Friday. Saturday will be 25% off all t-shirts, and Sunday will be 25% off all of the fresh dope ducks hoodies, baby. Woo! So like I said, if you guys have been waiting for a good old discount, your chance is coming up. You better jump on it. I want to thank you all you guys for watching. Like always, all my new subscribers out there, I'm talking to you guys. Thank you guys for being here. If you have a duck hunting buddy that uh, needs to be on this YouTube channel, you need to text him. You need to share the channel. You need to tell him, hey, you need to go over and check this guy out. When you're bored, when you're sitting on the toilet and you need something to do, watch old Bobby Guy Films. But like always, guys, if you like this video, give your boy a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I really don't know what you're doing. You need to if you're a duck hunter. Channel is growing fast. And I wanted to thank all you guys for being here. Thank you so much. But we will see you on the next ones, guys. Don't forget the big Black Friday sales coming your way. Thank you for being here, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.